So Rick Carlisle has been announced as the head coach of the Indiana Pacers. And honestly, is this a surprise? A little bit because if you guys know me, I was actually going to say, I had been saying it was Terry Stotts. And it had been Terry Stotts for a while before Rick Carlisle had stepped down as the Dallas Mavericks head coach. Tim McMahon says the Pacers are hiring Rick Carlisle as the head coach. He will sign a four-year, $29 million deal. That is a big deal for a coach. Okay, Adrian Wojnarowski just said the Pacers were quietly and quickly to get a deal done with Rick Carlisle. The team had planned to start interviews with several candidates in Chicago this week. Carlisle was a top assistant in Larry Bird's early and like in Larry Bird's early time as a coach and career with the Pacers. So there is a connection there. Okay, first off, great job on the Pacers for getting a good coach, Rick Carlisle. Now, if we look at the Indiana Pacers, I really like Miles Turner. If I had to choose Miles Turner or DeMontis Sabonis, that's a very hard question because they're different. And I'm a firm believer of defenses winning championships. So at the end of the day, I don't know. I think Miles Turner has more value for the team, but... DeMontis Sabonis might be able, you might be able to get more value on the trade market with him, if that makes sense. Now, if we look at their salary cap going into the 2021-2022 year, it is a bit interesting to say the very least. You know, Rick Carlisle is a good coach. Some people will argue that he's been able to live off of his prior success winning that championship in 2011 and hasn't amount to anything since then. But look, so they're paying the, their highest paid players, Malcolm Brogdon with 21.7. Then Sabonis is 19.8 Turner at 18 cares Levert at 17.5 TJ Warren at 12.6, almost 12.7 Jeremy land, 10.5 Justin holiday, six Aaron and Goga, both making about three apiece. Edmund summer, O'Shea Brissett and clay Lom Martin, or old guys who are basically on minimums. Now, if you look at this, the point guard is Brogdon with Karis Avert at shooting guard, TJ Warren as the small forward, Sabonis as the power forward, and Turner as the center, which is a great team. Then off the bench, you got a little combination of Jeremy Land, Justin Holiday, Aaron Holiday, Goga, Edmund, O'Shea, Kalan, etc. This is a team that, first off, they're still paying Monte Ellis like 2.2 million my recording trapped out on me halfway so what i wanted to say was this is a team that yeah they're still paying monte ellis but in reality this team has like the starting lineup is brogdon karis levert tj warren sabonis turner with lamb you know lamb all day both holiday brothers goga summer o'shea and you know the guys off the bench and right now you're thinking Look, O'Shea, Killon, Edmund, Summer, Goga, Aaron, and Justin, Jeremy is a good bench. Now, if you trade TJ Warren, you know what you could do? TJ Warren is $12.6 million. Draft Moses Moody or Johnson, Jalen Johnson or Keon Johnson if they're there. And you could trade, you know, TJ Warren for some more depth and get some guys, you know, because then you can move Justin Holiday or Jeremy Lamb or Rose Moody into the starting lineup or, you know, summer into the starting lineup but you could also argue that they need a point guard but yeah so i think the one of the other things they could do is if they trade miles turner goga looks like a guy who could be a double double machine he wasn't super impressive but he was basically averaging a block a game and he seems like a guy who could average like 10 points and 11 rebounds a game with a block or two a game as well so you know i'm a fan i'm a fan i'm a big fan of this guy i think he has potential and First off, I, I think he it's it's gonna be interesting to say the very least on if this Indian But yeah, that's basically it for me today, guys. I just recorded this off my phone in my girlfriend's bathroom. Just cause I'm sitting here at her place, so I had I just wanted to get this out. But yeah, no, I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on what do you guys think of Rick Carlisle's new head coach? But yeah, that's basically it for me. Let me hear those comments down below. But Peace out. Till next time, guys. Have a great day because I know I will. Bye-bye.